Good evening, everyone. I hope you guys are good. As you can see, I have um, arrived and landed back in Chilliwack, and I no longer have a sunburn. Now I have like a tan and like I'm peeling, which is, oh, how do you see that? Kind of gross. Okay. So super excited. Hello, Christine. Hello, Galen. Um, nice to see you guys online. So here's where um, we come back from being away. And if you saw my post earlier about my office, things um, obviously piled up while I was away. And we start to step into like, maybe overwhelm right so like there's all this stuff it's got to get done like you know what do we what do we tackle first and how do we avoid hitting the wall well here's where we need to get grounded and we need to stand firm in our role as ceo of our business and hello eva and conscious ceo so this is you consciously navigating um, your role in your business as the leader and as the vision holder. It is your absolutely your responsibility to hold that position and lead consciously. And how does that affect the bottom line? I am sure you are wondering. Well, when you consciously create your business and you consciously build it and you are owning your role as CEO, you are not spending time on the worker tasks. So I wrote down a couple of things here where really easy for you to understand whether you're sitting in CEO or worker mode, right? So a CEO, um, a CEO mindset leads to a desire to learn and grow and build something bigger than yourself. Whereas a worker mindset leads to a desire to look smart and successful on the outside and not let others see that we are struggling. This is fear based, right? So Here's where a CEO can embrace challenges, can persist in the face of obstacles, um, can see effort as the path to mastery, and can learn from criticism and guidance. Whereas a worker, a worker's mindset um, avoids challenges usually, um, can get defensive and give up easily, um, can see efforts as fruitless and can ignore negative feedback um, and only really want to hear praise, right? So I ask you today, what are you? Are you sitting in CEO or are you sitting in worker? And ultimately, success comes from owning your role as CEO of your business. Now, how you set that up really um, is quite individual. And, however, it does affect your bottom line. So it is your responsibility to make sure that your business is profitable and that you are spending your time on the most important tasks for you. So a great example of that is say bookkeeping that's like an easy one right a bookkeeper maybe costs you 20 25 bucks an hour something like that um if you are working with clients and you're charging more than that then it would be a ceo decision to have that outsourced because why spend your time on a 20 to 25 dollar an hour job when you could be charging clients whatever more it is, 50, 100, $150, right? So this is where we start to 
really get clear on the details, right? Like really, really get clear. How much is it costing me to do this task? And is it profitable if I can farm that out to someone? Well, Eva, you happen to know a, a lady, a gal who's got a bookkeeping company. So I would be very pleased to hook you up, my friend. So what I mean by conscious CEO is that we are looking at these things. We are, we, we are sitting in our power, in our conscious development of our business. And we are, we are always looking at the bottom line, right? It's our responsibility. It's nobody else's responsibility to figure that shit out, right? If you need support with that, reach out for support for that, right? I am happy to be your CFO, Melissa Friesen. But um, there's lots of us out there that do this work, right? Get the support you need. Find somebody that you partner with, right? Oh my God. What, Wendy, did you see I was on and started talking to me again? Oh my God, Wendy, you're hilarious. Wendy Anderson has a CFO, so she's all good. However, you might not want to be spending your time doing bookkeeping. Now, here's an important thing, bookkeeping wise. Just because you pay somebody to do bookkeeping doesn't mean you can like, just like, I have no awareness of the numbers. That's not, that's not how this works, right? That is not, you still need to have an awareness as to what's going on. Important. So as I sit here in rainy Chilliwack with my tan and I start to kind of come back to what it's like to live without a butler and without the sun and without like steak and lobster for dinner and like all this abundance that I experienced while um, presenting at Abundance, abundance Ignited. Um, I truly am grateful for all that uh, has come into my life and um, all that is because what I realized on my plane trip home was that a year ago I set an intention to that travel and adventure was part of my business and um, I am one who is always striving for the next thing so I needed to settle into the fact that what I set an intention for a year ago is actually happening in my business right now. So I'm very grateful for that. Right? Eva and Melissa, you can understand, right? Cheyenne and I were saying today that we would accept, like, it'd be better to have, like, a butler who was, like, not the best butler rather than no butler at all. Okay, so this probably sounds super pretentious. And please, I'm please take this all with a grain of laughter and salt and all that stuff because um, I am I am being a little sarcastic and stuff. Of course, we all want a butler. It's ridiculous, honestly, a little ridiculous, but super fun. And who doesn't want a butler, right? Oh my God. I too, Eva, was looking for, I wasn't looking for Carlos because he wasn't the best butler. I would like Santiago. He was the really good butler. He was like the butler's supervisor. So he was pretty good. I could not, this, you know, today I had to drink my mineral water out of a can, right? Not like with ice and a slice of lime and like presented to me on a platter. I'm not having steak and lobster for dinner and I didn't get to have like the beach grill for lunch, right? <laughs> These are first world problems, my friend. So yeah, as I said, a little bit pretentious, totally um, sarcastic. Obviously, butlers are like over the top, but I loved the fact that my trip to Mexico included butler's service because that was pretty awesome. Anyways, if you want to chat about B 
being the conscious CEO of your business, I really encourage you to jump into my Facebook group, The Vault, uh, where we talk about all things business, um, especially focusing on the numbers. So I hope that appeals to you. If you're not already in there, make sure you get in there and uh, start some interaction. Let's have a conversation about you owning your power as the conscious CEO of your business. See you later.